Why do we think we're always in the center of who Jesus is? And why should we pray that he be the center of us? And when we look forward, it will not be our face we see, but it will be him. That we may resemble some part of his character, but he is the character that is pure and holy, not we. Uh, he has given us his righteousness at the cross and taken away our sins. But nevertheless, if we are still sinning, we're not resembling the righteousness that he uh, is and always will be and always was. This mystery of godliness where God has taken on all of us so that he can wash us whiter than snow, we can't comprehend we can study the scripture, we can grill ourselves over and over again. We find it refreshes us all the way new again. That is the righteousness of God. We cannot refresh ourselves. We can think new thoughts, but we'll discover, hey, I, if I was God, I would have already known that and wouldn't have had to tell myself. But no, it was God telling us. It was God reviving us, God inspiring us through the word. And when we study the Bible, we discover over and over again, God is revealing himself and his character to us. So therefore, he is the center. So um, there might be a picture up there that represents Christ because we've all often done that. We don't really know in our age what he looks like, but we know his character is pure. And when we look forward, we look forward to seeing his pur purity represented we don't look forward to seeing ourselves idolized as a star on earth who was doing a stage presentation and they became a, an idolized image or a superstar, something or other, celebrity entertainment. We're looking forward to seeing God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. When we look forward, we look up to God and we thank Him and we praise Him and we adore Him because... He is God. We don't know what he looks like. We make some representations. Thank the Lord that we can do that, that we understand his character has been revealed in the word. And I'm talking about the word of God. Thus saith the Lord. His scripture that was announced by angels, that was announced by prophets, kings, queens, disciples, apostles and holy men and holy women speaking as they were announcing the word of God through the ages. Our age uh, applauds scientists and Darwin. They didn't come around until um, late 16, maybe early 1700s. They didn't know anything about the scripture. They can't, can't unfold into you those ancient mysteries, those ancient words. They were all brought by the power of God through the people he chose to bring the word. I appreciate the word of God, and this is about keeping God the center and keeping his word the center of our life. Thank you. I'm Bishop Claudia.